developing this noon are new details about that Livonia assisted living center that was suddenly shut down by the state earlier this week. It was a chaotic scene for the residents and families scrambling within hours to evacuate that nursing home. Nick Monticelli joins us now live with what the city uh, is saying about the center and how this was all handled. Nick. Well, Rhonda, good afternoon. It was an interesting press conference here at the Chamber of Commerce. We thought that the mayor and other city leaders were going to talk more about the investigation, and they did do that, but the bulk of that discussion was how frustrated they are with the state of Michigan. Now, we can show you the video from all of this. This happened Wednesday, two days ago at Ashley Court. That is an assisted living facility here in the city of Livonia, and the state of Michigan and LARA, which is the licensing agency, came in and shut this facility down, or at least one building of that facility. There are allegations of neglect, safety hazards, and fire hazards. And the fire hazards are the big question because of safety doors that weren't closing properly and staff members not knowing how to evacuate properly if there is a fire inside of the building. So the state decided that that building had to be shut down. And they did that by telling the residents and their families that they had six hours to get them out of there and that was it. Now, this is where the city gets involved, and they say they are frustrated. Not a single phone call, according to the city of Livonia, was made to the fire chief, the police chief, the mayor, the state representative here. Nobody had any idea this was happening, which then created some kind of chaos outside of that building. People rushing, trying to get their loved ones out of there. A gridlock in the parking lot with only one driveway. Fire trucks can't get in. Police cruisers can't get in. Family members are unable to get in. And the city mayor says, listen, if that was something you would have told us about, we could have helped. We could have helped mitigate that chaos. And they today are calling out the state saying this can't happen again. It's horrendous how this, this all came together. Uh, if this had been a fire that day, we would have been in, in, in deep trouble. Um, this, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very upset that we weren't notified right away and have people there to assist. We kind of piecemealed this together as we moved on with it. Now, everybody involved wants to make it clear that they are not angry with the state for closing it down. They did what they had to do for the safety of the patients. They applaud them for that. But again, they're angry with Health and Human Services and Laura and other agencies for not giving them that heads up to see what could have been done about it. Now, there was a state representative, Laura Cox, in there. She talks about she is working on getting some language introduced into the budget to force agencies to notify at least the state representatives and the senators. If that goes through and the budget is passed, then that will, of course, become law. But they say other conversations need to happen so things like this can't happen again, or at least chaos like that can't happen again. We're live in Livonia, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.